Okay, before you flip those papers over, let me tell you the rules, okay? Um, you can't vote, you have to stay with the seat you're at. You cannot pass papers, you're stuck with the one you have. Um, if you're going to pass the stopwatch, you must do that during the two minutes, not after the meeting has begun. And um, nobody writes during the two minutes whatsoever, only the secretary can write after that. Okay? So if you have any questions, we'll stop the clock and um, answer it. If you have something like that, if you see the card, if you made a mistake or something. Okay? But uh, other than that, we'll start the clock when you put that paper on.
common stock purposes, and now it clears me that the symbol of Fay chapter duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matter which may now probably be presented. Due to the nature of this contest, our agenda for the day is old business, or opening ceremonies, old business, new business, and closing ceremonies. Is there any old business? Hearing now, we will now proceed to new business. Is there any new business? Mr. Chairman. Chris. I move that our chapter hosts the Green Hands Fun Night to get our freshmen excited about being in Ag and FFA. Second. It has been moved by Chris and seconded by Sean that our chapter hosts a Green Hand Fun Night to get our freshmen excited about being in Ag and FFA. May I remind you this is Amend or debatable amendment requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chair. Chris. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, I had no interest in being an AG or FFA, and this would help people, and specifically eighth and seventh graders, to decide whether they want to not be an FFA and, or be an FFA. Mr. Chair. Sean. Last year we had we took a little bit of time out of a couple of our classes to go into the ag room and learn a little bit about the ag classes that we can par take part in and uh, the FFA itself and I thought that was really fun so taking this and taking a whole night would be a lot better. Mr. Chairman, this was a great idea when we did it in eighth grade. I saw that FFA was more than just farming. It was like more fun and there was classes like Tech and Power and. It wasn't all about farming. Mr. Chairman, Michael. Um, if we did this, we could also tell them about like national convention, state convention, and all the fun things that we go to every year, and it might get them more interested in joining Ag. Mr. Chairman, again, I'm going to recess the meeting for two minutes. Second. It has been moved by Gavin and seconded by Sean that we recess this meeting for two minutes. May I remind you this is amendable for time and not debatable. Is there any discussion? I rise to the point of order. Sean. This motion is amendable. Right, it is debatable. Your point is well taken. Roberts, we will order. Right, so point of order. order. This is not debatable, amenable by time, and requires a majority vote. Your point is well taken. To, uh, according to Roberts, we will point, point passes. This is amendable by time and not debatable. Is there any amendments? Hearing none, we will now proceed to vote. All in favor of the recesses, meeting for two minutes, please say aye. All aye. opposed, please say nay. Nay. Recess fails. We are now back to the main main discussion on the main motion. Is there any more discussion? Hearing none, we will now proceed to vote. All in favor that our chapter host a Green Hand Fun Night. Get our freshmen excited about being egg and FFA, please say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. Is there any more new business? Mr. Chair. Carrie. I have to pay $200 our new program of activities uh, custom printed by Office Depot. Second. It has been moved by Carrie and second by Sean that we pay $200 to have our new program of activities custom printed by Office Depot. May I remind you this is amendable, debatable, requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Carrie. Having our um, activities printed out on a piece of paper by Office Depot would help us out with the kids and letting their parents know that had all dates and she tells us in class every day that what is coming up and this would be a waste of our money to do. Mr. Mr. Chair. Skyler. This would be a waste of money because like what, like what Chris said, Mrs. Adderhall already gave us paper and at being responsible um, high schoolers, we don't need to have a um, program of activities. Mr. Mr. Chair. Chair. We wouldn't need this. They already have this already ready to go and done with when they go to Mrs. Adderwalt's house for a retreat. Mr. Chairman, Chris. This is a waste of our money. Even though we have a very good fruit sale, this still, we could spend that on much more better things. So we shouldn't uh, vote yes. No more discussion? Hearing none. We now proceed to vote. All of that we pay $200 to have a new program of activities custom created by Office Depot. Please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion fails. I call for a division of the House. We call for the division of the House to be called for. All in favor that we pay $200 to have a new program of activities custom created by Office Depot. Please rise. Two, Madam Secretary. All opposed, please rise. Four, Madam Secretary. 
The motion passes of the vote counts quarter two. Quarter two. Is there any more new business? Mr. Chair. Chair. Michael. Move that our chapter purchase two new tractors for our pedal tractor pool with the elementary students. Second. It has been properly or is the move by Michael and Senator by Sean that our chapter purchase two new tractors for our pedal tractor pool with the elementary students. Mayor Mike, this is amendable debate will require a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chair. Michael. I know when I was smaller and a little kid that I used to love going these pedal tractor pools and a lot of times the tractors weren't the nicest and it'd be nice if we had new tractors. And a lot of kids like to go to these, so it would be a lot of fun for them and for us. Mr. Chairman. Sean. Uh, since our fruit sales have been doing really well recently, and raising over $10,000, we'd be able to put some of that money towards the new tractors and then raise some of the money back for when they come in and they can pay to enter the race. Mr. Chairman. Chris. My brother, he is in elementary school, and last year when they did this, I don't know how, but he got his arm tangled in the chain of a tractor, and it's very dangerous, and I do not think we should do this because of the hazards. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Vice President, have you seen the duties of the chair for rights and responsibilities of the chair for our discussion over this effort? With this guy, I'll give you all the responsibilities of the chair. Thank you. Jamie. This would be a great idea because we could, uh, if we didn't have a, the, enough money to buy two tractors, we could go to our alumni and ask if they would be willing to donate some money because uh, I know they have a good amount of money in their account, and so we could uh, ask them for help because they help us with everything else. Mr. Chairman, sure. sure. the two tractors for this are probably going to be pretty expensive, and I think we should put our money towards something else. Mr. Sure. Chairman, sure. instead of buying two new tractors, we could rent them or borrow them from someone else to save money. Mr. Sure. Chairman, sure. yeah. our fundraiser this year have been doing good, so I think we can afford it. Mr. Chairman, move the latest motion on the table. Second. Second. It is moved by Michael and second by Sean that we lay this motion on the table. I remind you, this is not debatable, not amendable, and requires majority vote. Uh, all in favor of laying this motion on the table, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. Hey. The motion fails. We're now back on the main motion. Is there any discussion? Okay, no. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, I've heard a lot about the cost. We could also uh, put a small cost or a fee on to be in the tractor or the kitty tractor pool because I know at the uh, at the Wayne County Fair they do this and they uh, have that and a lot of people seem to come out for it and we could even invite different, uh, other elementary schools to it. So any more discussion? Okay, now we'll have to vote. All in favor? Then our chapter purchased two new tractors for our total tractor pool with the elementary students. Please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. The motion passes. Is there any business? Mr. Sure. Chairman. Sean. I move that our chapter goes to an all-terrain vehicle ATV safety class. Second. It's been moved by Sean, seconded by Michael, that our chapter hosts an all-terrain vehicle ATV safety class. I remind you this is debatable, amendable, and part of the majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Sean. Most of the people that ride ATVs around that I know don't care about the safety rules. They don't wear helmets or any other safety equipment. They just ride around freely if they crash. Oh well. So this would be a huge waste of time and possibly money. Mr. Chairman. Uh, I know that a lot of the guys I ride with don't really know a lot about the safety. And there's one in particular that didn't wear a helmet the first time we went. And my dad told me that I had to tell him to uh, put one on or else he couldn't ride with us anymore on our land. So uh, it would be great to invite my friends to, to come to it. Mr. Sure. Sure. Here, I think this would be a great idea because ATV is, as long as we know, we can teach our family members and our future children that the safety rules. Mr. Chair. Sure. Sure. Yes. Um, every day on our way to school, I with my mom, and I'm always hearing about these ATVs. Uh, crashes, so to speak, Mr. Sure. Um, I think this is a great idea because people that don't know about the safety will be able to learn about all the safety for ATVs. And I know that I don't know much about ATV safety, and I don't really drive very safe on my ATVs, and I'd kind of like to know, so I don't hurt myself. Mr. Chairman, my parents are very concerned about me and my sister's safety while riding ATVs, so I believe that this would be a good thing to put on. I think all the parents would love it. Mr. Chairman. We are all teenagers here, and I decide that we do need to know most of these safety rules. Mr. Chairman, my sister and I were riding one, and she almost fell off and nearly died. We should have the safety class. It would 
would say from what I've learned. Mr. Chairman? Again? Uh, my brother wants an ATV uh, for Christmas, so this would be a good idea to make the ATV safety classes because I don't want anything happening. Mr. Chairman? I moved to adjourn. Mr. Chairman? Second. It's moved by Kirtan. Blogger and second by Jacob. That we adjourn this meeting will remind you this is not available, not amendable in the part of the majority vote. All in favor of adjourning this meeting, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. The adjournment passes. Madam Secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should now be transacted? I have one, Mr. Chairman. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business that should probably come before this meeting? We are about to adjourn this meeting of the Smith Life and Pay Chapter. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to others, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me in a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everything, everything, that's all, folks.